for finals day at the Daihatsu Indonesia Masters. Our next final is a men's doubles. It features the world number ones against the world number twos. Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukumolio going for a third consecutive title at this event. Up against the reigning and three-time world champions, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan. Well, at the start of the week, as far as the men's doubles draw was a concern, we only had six seeds because number six seeds Endo and Watanabe pulled out and so did the number three seeds Kamora and Sonoda. We had one seeded pair, the former world champions Lee Jun Kuei and Liu Yu Chen, beaten finalists at this event two years ago. They lost in the very first round. So by quarterfinal stage, we only had five seeds left, left and four different nationalities. Three pairs from Indonesia, three from Malaysia. And by the semi-finals, well, it was four seeds, but only two different nationalities because there was three pairs from Indonesia. In the bottom half of the draw, we had a repeat of last year's World Championship semi-final when Asan and Setiawan beat Alfian and Adianto. Well, the home fans here will delight in the men's doubles. The two pairs have nicknames in this country. The world number ones known as the Minions. And Asan and Setiawan, the world champions known as the Daddies, because both of them fathers. And it is the Minions, the world number ones, and the two-time defending champions who are invited into the stadium, first of all. For this man, Sukamolio, the second of the two men there, he is going for a fourth consecutive title here. Both these players individually have won three titles at this particular event, but two together. Their record here is fantastic. it was a repeat of last year's final. So, of course, this pair were beaten finalists a year ago. Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiwan. Mohamed Hassan, the man leading out the pair, has won this title 12 twice, the first two editions of the Indonesia Masters, playing with former partner Bona Septino. So, for Mohamed Hassan, it's a fourth final here today at this tournament and as you can see this is a 13th meeting between these two pairs Gideon and Sukumolio the overwhelming advantage on the head-to-heads but more importantly they have won the last nine meetings that last was in the final of last year's Denmark Open 21-14 21-13 in just 28 minutes and this is a sixth consecutive meeting Black. in a final. Court. And obviously, with Gideon and Sukumolio having Short. won the last nine, Marcus. Uh, they've won all Hassan, encounters when they've met in a final. In fact, you have to go back four years, almost four years, uh, to the Malaysian Super Series of 2016 for the last time that Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan beat their opponents of today. Well, the world number ones, Marcus Fernaldi Gideon, won the title here in 2014 with Marcus Kido. A beating in the final, he's now partner. Sukamolio, who was playing with Silvana Skay. World number ones, as you can see, and world number ones for 121st consecutive week, but 133rd week in total. And for this man, he's going for his fourth consecutive title uh, because uh, three editions ago, he won the final with Aria Pankarian Mira. So an extraordinary record for these two players. Quarter
finalist last week, nine finals last year from 17 tournaments. But my goodness, they had to squeak through the opening match against the Olympic bronze medalists, Ellis and the Langridge. They'd actually been well up in that deciding game, 99 up and 2017 up and ended up having to save two match points before eventually winning it. He Ji Ting and Tan Chiang in the second round quarterfinal against Go and Izudin and the semi-final against last year's beaten All England finals finalists Cha and So. So to Mohammed Hassan and Hendra Setiwan. Hassan 32 years ago of age, Hendra Setiwan 35. Number two in the world at the moment, uh, but they have been world number ones. They were world number ones for 38 consecutive weeks from the 21st of November 2013. Lost in two straight games in last year's final, 21-17, 21-11, in just 25 minutes. But this year, uh, they have beaten Auranki Reddy and Shetty in the first round. Then they Ladies beat and Lu Ching Yao oh, and Yang Ko Han in the second round. Quarter final was three games against Li Yang and Wan Chi Lin, the number seven seeds. And the semi final against the number five seeds, Alfian and Ardianto. That also a three game match coming from 12 14 down in the deciding game to promptly win nine of the next four points to win 17. Mohamed Assad. Labo play. So, Steen, the head to heads strongly suggests that Gideon and Sukamolio are the overwhelming favourites, having won the last nine encounters. And I also said. They seem to love playing oh. here in this arena. <laughs> yeah, they do. That is to say the least, because they've won the last five Very tournaments sure they've played here. Two, won uh, both Indonesia Masters and Indonesia Open in 2018 and 2019. And then also in 2018, the uh, Asian Games. And they've beaten these two uh, sure their compatriots, Asan and oh. Sechu, and they've beaten them in the last three World Tour Finals in this stadium here. So it's the fourth consecutive that they're playing. That's also an accomplishment from uh, Hassan and Sechuan. Yeah, that's a great stat, Steve. Last five tournaments played in this arena, won by Gideon. Three, two. cleverest players in world badminton, Hendra Seti one at the front of the court. Hardly ever seems to be moving quickly and yet seems to have his racket in the right place at the right time. Reads the game so well. And on the other side of the net, Kevin Sanjaya Sukumolio has got to be one of the most exciting players in the whole of world badminton, not just the men's doubles discipline to watch his speed at the front of the ball. So this is an intriguing battle. Uh, listen, I've seen reports suggesting that um, perhaps Sechaman and uh, Hassan would have a bigger chance today as um, there's been observations that Gideon and Sukumulio are perhaps not playing as uh, as good as um, we've seen them before. They didn't win the um, we have a pair again where we talk about the tournaments they don't win. So both for quality, but they didn't win the World Tour Finals and didn't win last week in uh, Malaysia. And uh, every time they don't win, of course, they're under scrutiny. So in many ways it becomes 
The pressure that's just building more and more. The more you win, the more you're expected to win. Yeah. yeah. Well, just to emphasize your point, Steve, 2017, they were in nine finals. This is Gideon and Supermodel, won seven titles. 2018, 10 finals from 14 tournaments, winning nine of those 10 finals. <laughs> Last year, nine finals from 17 oh. tournaments. That then rates as a bad year for Gideon and Sulkamol. You only won eight titles. Yeah, eight titles. <laughs> yeah, that's a wonderful return of serve from Mohamed Hassan. Close to the net there, Marcus Gideon. Eight, nine. No call from the uh, umpire. Umpire. Um, from Italy. Yeah, there's a challenge here. Well, it was called out, so it was a challenge initially. From Sukumoto, could have been called out, so then Hassan and Sevilla won. Challenged. Well, it was called wide as well by the line judge. I didn't see it as wide. Here we go. What does Hawkeye say? Well, it was wide, but it wasn't long. So both line judges uh, were wrong, <laughs> and I was wrong. <laughs> Nine, four. Play. One of the problems for Hassan and Setiwan in the last many meetings against uh, Gideon and Sukumulu is, of course, that. Gideon and Sukumulu, they're, they're strong in the same game as uh, Asan and Sechewan. Good in the flat games, it means they have uh, a higher survival rate, even if um, Asan and Sechewan are controlling the rally. And then when Gideon and Sukumulu turns it around, they score a lot of points on Asan and Sechewan. That's not happening for most of the other pairs in the world playing the reigning world champions or actually the world number one yeah, because it's the same situation when they play the Gideon and Sukumulio. Yeah. Well, it is the reigning world champions that have the one-point advantage at the mid-game interval. And there'll be no coaching involved because both players from Indonesia and the national coaches don't want to show any favoritism. But another stat about this pair, Steve, this is their 18th career World Tour Tournament final. Their previous 17, they've only lost one. Yeah, that's an record. It shows that when they're on fire, they are really, really hard to handle. And from the record, that one 11, World 10. Tour final that they lost was the 2018 French Open. Lost to Han Cheng Kai and Zhao Han Dong. Zhang 11-0. Yeah, somebody's using a flashlight. Disturbing the players. Oh my goodness, that's cool. Sneak, sneaked up to the net there. Yeah. Very good reading of the situation from Sukumolio.
perfect, perfect placement of the smash from Sukumolio. Right in between Asan and Setia one. And the clash of rackets. Meaning that neither of them were able to time the defensive shot. Son is attacking, he's always a little under pressure. It's very rarely he gets big opportunities and he has extra time. And that makes it much easier to defend. Five of the six points is in the game in the book to get him the sort of moment. The drop shot from Mohamed Hassan that made the difference in that rally. That one there. Change your game, can't change your game plan if you're a and such one. And the answer is no. They never change game plan. They always play the same style. They have small um, adjustments when they're in trouble, but they never ever say, like, hey, okay, now we play a bit more patient and play a little bit defense or whatever. They play, they're true to their playing style, which is a great strength, but it's also a problem if it suddenly doesn't work. Yeah, but it's difficult to argue about the fact that when they've won three World Championship gold medals, two All England titles. They never lost a World Championship when entered as a pair. No, and that's amazing. Service error from Gideon. opportunities, five of them to be precise for Gideon and Sukhumolio. Steve, this is no coaching game. 
moving on. Chance for me to give you another quiz question similar to the first question. It's about consecutive titles. Which I managed particularly well the first question. <laughs> you did? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've made no time buying dinner. That's good. Um, of course, Gideon and Sulcamolio have already won four consecutive titles at one particular tournament, and that's Fuzhou in Fuzhou at the China Open. And they've already won three consecutive titles in India, Japan as well. So there's three other pairs in men's doubles who have won three consecutive titles, either at a Grand Prix goal or Super Series. It's all happened, has to have happened before the World Tour, because we've only had two full years of the World Tour. So three consecutive titles, three pairs that's managed to do that. Yeah, that's more difficult. We discussed something uh, over breakfast uh, about Lee Young Day. It's probably Lee Young Day and Yo Yong Sung. Correct. And that was at the China Open in 2008, 9, and 10. You need to be quick. They're coming back onto court. Uh, World Championship, Fu and Kai. No. No. Born Morgans in Korea Open. No. I'm, yeah, I'm talking about Super Series. Super Series. Okay, yeah. okay. Concrete Golds. Born Morgans in Korea. Super Series Finals. Super Bravo. Series Finals. And Ku Jian Kiat and Tan Bu Hyong in Macau. Yeah, I would never have guessed that one. Yeah. So here we what? go, second game. Yeah. What can the daddies do? against the speed and agility of Gideon and Sukamolio. Last year's final was 25 minutes. Well, that's going to be difficult to beat. Yeah. Oh, Maybe. Back. Maybe it's going to be difficult to beat. So, one, finally, five. Simon said he won't get a point on the board in this second game. Looked very high, the last service from uh, Gideon raises his uh, left arm. Of course, you're allowed to raise your left Six. arm if it starts really low, one. which it probably does. But, um, seems a little extra. Fantastic. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Wonderful play from Supermolio. Yeah, we didn't get the uh, beginning of the rally where Supermolio comes jumping from, I think, in the middle of the. Uh, um, even point field so from their perspective all the way to what's back inside that was amazing well they look like players on a mission Gideon and Sulcomolio in search of a 30th career title as a pair here today in this final. Oh, 
Yeah, it's lovely. Lovely change of pace. He's so quick on the reply there, Sukimulu, that he's got so many opportunities. It seems like, oh, he could have gotten to that uh, Seche one, but he's got to cover all the other possibilities as well. Oh, oh my goodness, how casual is that? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, come on! But that, that's also what the audience are, are here for, because, I mean, there's not the same cheers if it's Indonesia against another country. They're respectful to both uh, pairings, of course, and that's nice, but they really want to see some of that triggery. Yeah. Yeah. Good. And Sulkamolio absolutely delights in the attention and the spotlight of finals day, which is why their record in finals is so impressive. Oi. Sometimes I, I have a feeling Sukumulu is looking to see what is the hardest shot I can make from here. Yeah. What is the most Good difficult time. shot I can choose? And then he carries it out to perfection. Yeah, very much the showman. So that is a wonderful shot and a staggering 11 3 lead here in this second game. He already won the first. Well, there's one record that this pair holds, apart from obviously their World Championship gold medals, that's better than Gideon and Sukumolio, and that's the fact that they've contested finals at all four, five levels of HSBC BWF World Tour events. So that doesn't include the 100s, but does include the World Tour finals. And Gideon and Sukumolio have not reached the final either year of the World Tour Finals. 11-3. Play. Oh, serve. <laughs> His racket was already there. Yeah, it's amazing. 12-3. Knew and sensed what Setsuan was going to do. That's not bad uh, backhand drive from uh, Gideon. Either that third shot there. Four. He smashed that a bit though. to emphasize how good Gideon and Sukumolio are in finals and have been since they've formed their partnership. I was saying that they're looking to win a 30th career men's doubles title together. Good rally. And in contrast, Hassan and Sepia won, despite winning three world titles and have played together much longer period of time than their opponents are today looking to win a 20th career title together okay that, that's actually a very nice as well in my opinion because they played uh, at the same time as Lee and um, Yu Yong Sung, Lee and Dae Yu Yong Sung, yeah. uh, Fu Hai Fung and uh, Jang Nan well. And now they've lost so many <laughs> finals to uh, Gideon and Sukumulu, so 20, that's, that's respectable, I think. It's more than respectable in my mind. Eight. 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 Four points doesn't seem such a deficit anymore, does it? Oh, that's a brilliant shot. And that's gone wrong. And all of a sudden, it's become very, very interesting once more. Six straight points from Atan and Sediawan.
good placement, good angle. Hassan Court trying to use the crouch defence. And a slightly placement of the smash from Gideon. points now to the sun and said you are. Three to all the great. To eleven thirteen. Scoring their point against the uh, was a rare mistake from Sukumunio immediately after, but um, that's what's been discussed lately. But um, that um, Gideon is the one to target, which I totally agree. So it's interesting to see how uh, they're going to solve this problem. I think the best way to solve it is to realize who they are, player for player. What is my task and what is your task? And um, then do that. Stick to their so roles. Don't try and play all court, both players all court. Stick no. to your 
and, and also that I mean, it doesn't really help Kevin Sukimono if they lose and you know, but can, uh, there's no need to, it doesn't help Kevin to, uh, that, that people say that, okay, he's playing much better and it's uh, Kevin that's targeted. It might be true, but it just doesn't help him. It only helps him to try to protect him. Yeah. away now Gillian and Sukumolio in winning a third consecutive title here at the Indonesian Masters. It's gone wide, it's match point opportunities. 20, match point 16. third consecutive title for Marcus Bernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukumolio here at the Indonesia Masters. A fourth consecutive title for Kevin Sanjaya Sukumolio as an individual. Best won by Marcus Bernaldi Gideon. Well, you consider Kevin Sanjaya Sukumolio. They've already won these three titles 21, 16. in India. Japan and in Fuzhou in China. seperti yang terjadi tahun lalu uh, ketemu juga sama Hendra Aksan ini juga hat trick yang uh, ketiga kalinya di Indonesia Master ada yang mau disampaikan ya pasti kami senang sekali ya bisa mempertahankan gelar di sini di rumah sendiri mainnya juga di Stora dengan dukungan supporter yang sangat banyak terima kasih udah dukung kami semua terima kasih banyak udah nonton semoga ke depan kita bisa mempertahankan dan lebih baik lagi Next event yang yang akan turun dan akan jadi target berikutnya apa Kevin? Ya pastinya kita ingin ngasih yang terbaik setiap pertandingan, kita ingin dapat hasil yang terbaik. Dan kita berjanji akan selalu berusaha yang terbaik terus. Oke, okay. Kevin Sanjaya, Marcus Gideon, Sukamulyo. Champion of a men's double, the Hatsu Indonesia Master 2020. We need a translation there, do we, Steen? That yeah. they're, they're very happy <laughs> to have won here yet again. They are. A third consecutive title. And the Royal 
from the fans because Marcus Finaldi Gideon going off to retrieve his son from the crowd. He's fast asleep, little mite. correctly yeah <laughs> well his son is going to turn one at the end of this month on the 29th to be precise marcus finale gideon jr in the arms of marcus finale gideon senior yeah that might just wake him up yeah it has my goodness daddy what's going on here Hassan and Setia one with their children as well. The daddies with all their children. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to be on the top podium, young man. <laughs> it's an ambitious little fella. But the champions are 30th career title as a pair for Marcus Vinaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukkamolio. 17th world tour title in their 18th world tour tournament final. And when you look at Super Series as well, they won 12 of they were in 12 finals, won 10 of those. consecutive time Hassan and Satya one have to settle for second best against Gideon and Sukkamolio a fourth consecutive title for Sukkamolio and a fourth in total for Gideon but a third consecutive as a pair what a record both Marcus Vinaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjay Sukkamolio have at this event the Indonesian Masters. Yeah, that young man's going to go far. He grabbed the <laughs> check too. everyone emphasize once again and we look forward to our next final and it's the beaten finalists from two years ago Gracia Poli and Apriani Rahayu of Indonesia up against surprise finalists Maiken Fogo and Sara Tuasen of Denmark